right, in this video, I'm gonna show you all the ways that you can make money with coding. There are three main ways that I have identified and these three ways are completely different from each other. So stay until the end because I'm gonna break down every single like roadmap into steps or skills that you need to learn. And you'll actually be surprised how different they are and what kind of technologies you need to learn for each one of these uh, roads. So there are three main ways. So the software developer route where you just write code and then like the ultimate goal, I guess, is to end up working for Google and whatnot because that's like the top tier kind of software developer. And the next thing is freelancer. And the last one is entrepreneur. So creating your own apps, okay? And selling them and whatnot, creating a multi-million dollar company. I'm gonna share with you what I have learned from my experience of trying all those three things. And I think it's gonna be pretty cool, okay? So let's get started. So you are here. This is you, Jimmy. And then you're wondering what to do. Well, as I mentioned, there are three ways. The first one is the software developer. So I'm going to type in here software, soft dev. Okay. For software development, you need to get started with a base skill of HTML, CSS. So I'm going to put H, C, and JavaScript. So this is the base skill that you need for all three of them. Okay. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, as you are progressing through this ladder, I guess, you will need to learn something called React, which is a library. So I'm gonna type in React, React, which is a library as I mentioned. And this library is allowing us to create components and applications faster and then we can create more complex things faster okay then once you learn react you need to learn redux then you need to learn architecture system design how to create an application how to create twitter how would you create youtube how would you create facebook how would you create instagram all these apps are having some sort of architecture some design behind them okay they're not just built like that okay let's build an application they are actually well thought of okay and you'll have to learn data structures and algorithms further you go into your career okay so this would be the software development path now if you want to become a freelancer you will still need to learn HTML CSS and JavaScript but you do not need to become an expert at HTML CSS and JavaScript actually the more you get better at software development, the less useful you'll be as a freelancer. Why? Because as a freelancer, people want products built quickly, okay? And they want different type of products. If you get really good at data structures and algorithm, like as a software developer, then your skill is useless on the market. Maybe it's gonna help you as well, but if you promote yourself like, hey, I know data structures and algorithms, and I've worked for Google, but I want someone to build me a website, well, your skill is useless, okay? Like there are multiple ways to build the perfect body, right? You can use calisthenics, you can use bodybuilding, you can do powerlifting. There are three different ways that you can use to create a good body, okay? But they are totally different. And if you are good at calisthenics, you'll totally suck at powerlifting and the other way around, okay? So think of this, like end goals and you need to tailor your skills for your end goal or for freelancing i would say you need to learn marketing okay how to position yourself as the solution for someone's needs then you need to learn sales how to sell yourself as a freelancer and probably i'm gonna make a video on this if you think it's good if you think it's a good idea if you're interested in learning sales because i mean sales you need to go like hardcore on sales as a freelancer, but you can also use sales as a software developer because you can sell yourself better. You can pass the interviews and whatnot. You know how to control yourself and how to convey yourself as the like the top choice for that specific role and whatnot. Okay, so sales is like good for all these disciplines. It's not like 
you need zero sales you need two out of ten sales to be a software developer but if you want to be a freelancer you need nine or ten out of ten sales okay if you want to make money okay and that's why like for example this is like a side note if you ever see like software developers that tried freelance and then they failed the reason why they failed is because they've been doing all this stuff and they've tried to become freelancers but they didn't know how to market and to sell themselves okay these are totally different skills and now as you know as you learn marketing and sales as you get better at this stuff the cool thing is actually i'm going to tell you the cool thing in a in a bit let's talk about more skills so marketing sales the other thing that you could learn is copywriting so what to put on a page to make someone uh, buy someone else's product and stuff like that you can learn uh, design that's another good skill to learn so how to design apps or how to design uh, websites that could be a good skill to learn you could learn how to create email campaigns how to set up automations let's put that in automations you can use software like zapier for example so i'm gonna put automations what else can you learn you can learn shopify you can learn more no code tools like elementor you can learn wordpress but as you can see like the foundation for this for the freelancing route is html css javascript and then marketing and sales the other stuff that you're adding on is going to bring more value okay but as you can see the more the better you get at freelancing the less coding you need and you need to learn how to fulfill a business's desires okay that's all it is about because people are looking for a freelancer to get their product up and running and the cool thing is that if you do not know how to do let's say design then you can outsource that so you can sell okay i'm gonna design and create your website then you outsource the design to someone else someone else is gonna do it you're gonna get a cut from that and then you do just the html css and javascript if you don't know how to do shopify you sell the product because you have the marketing and sales skills and then someone else is gonna do the shopify so you're gonna have a freelancer working for you and then the idea behind this is that you want to have more and more deals coming to you and then you start outsourcing pretty much everything and then you just do marketing and sales and then later when you have a bunch of like marketing uh, you have a bunch of sales and customers coming to you you outsource your sales so people are just coming to you because you are the influencer i guess so, or the the agency owner because that's the goal freelancer and then agency and then once you become an agency you have like employees working for you and you just you know manage them and then once that gets big enough then you hire a manager and you are just the ceo and you have like a huge you know uh agency that are that is working under you or for you okay um again this takes time i'm not gonna say it's easy but this is the path if that makes sense now after this the other way to make money is by is by being an entrepreneur instead of entrepreneur i'm gonna say boss you still need to learn html css and javascript but if you are a boss if you want to be a boss that means you want to create an application right you have an idea you saw a problem in the world maybe you saw a problem for yourself and then you're like okay i need to create an application for this well you are not gonna learn react redux architecture data structures and algorithm this is pointless okay it's only gonna make your life more difficult but what you need to know is again you need to learn marketing and sales okay so i'm gonna do a line like this why do you need to know marketing and sales because you need to learn how to market your application that you are gonna make and you need to learn how to sell your application that you're going to make okay but with html css and javascript you have a foundational skill set i guess that you can create minimum viable products so i'm going to type in mvp you can create a minimum viable product that you can run ads towards okay and you can see if people actually want to buy it and then once people are buying it then you can create a team you can get investors you can get funding and whatnot but here you need to learn how to run ads for example or you might need to know how to cold email how to send emails to people to try it out to try your stuff out cold email 
and cold calls. Okay, you might need to learn more no code tools like like Airtable, Airtable, which is like a spreadsheet on steroids. Airtable. Okay, then you might need to learn how to manage a team, management, management. So. Hired, hiring people, firing people, managing them, keeping their moral high and whatnot, uh, making them be motivated to work for you. As you can see, like these three ways are totally different and you need totally different skill set for them, but they all stem from HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Again, this is my opinion. Um, this might not be perfect, but that's how I see it from my experience. Feel free to do your own research and see if I'm correct, if I'm lying, learn about all these things or like look into just to have an idea because you know what's the biggest problem with people that people do not know what they do not know. People try to learn as many things as possible, but you're, you do not have enough time and you do not have enough bandwidth to just learn every day. But if you know what you don't know, then you can search it when you need it and learn more about it when you need it or you can outsource hire other freelancers that know those things and then you can just build stuff out okay um so yeah this is the video for today that's how you make money coding um obviously i don't know all this stuff but i know about them so when i need them if i want to create something i can just deploy uh, myself out there and i can get people to do different things for me uh, because I know about them. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. If you are curious about this stuff, uh, let me know if I suck. And uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe if you like these videos. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.